It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Friday, the 7th of May. I'm Michael Groff. Temperatures getting a little bit closer to seasonal averages as we head into the weekend and early next week. But then a warming trend takes over thereafter with highs surging back toward the century mark by next Thursday or Friday. And of course, rain chances will stay near zero for at least the next 10 days and likely well beyond that. We'll talk about all of that, plus some climate information to give you in just a moment. But first, it's Friday. So that means it's Photo Friday here, where we take a look at some of the photos and or videos that you guys have submitted. And first up, David Nielsen was in the Christopher Creek area last week, where he took these pictures and ran into a few flakes of snow. We probably won't have to worry about that until sometime in October or November across northern or eastern Arizona. But still, cool pictures nonetheless. Speaking of, Tyler has a few shots from around the state. This one is, again, these are from last week's inclement weather. This is the Queen Creek area. That looks cool. This is a gorgeous picture from down in Tucson. And then a couple of nice shots from up around the Sholo area. Cool cloud formation there. So if you want to get in on Photo Friday, you can do so. Groffshow at gmail.com is my email address. That is G-R-O-F-F-Show at gmail.com for Photo Friday. All right, now we have one other exciting piece of business here, and I only get to talk about this once every 10 years, and that is that the brand new climate normals are out for the 30-year period of 1991 through 2020. And, of course, no surprise here, the climate of Phoenix and much of the southwestern United States continues to get warmer and drier. For instance, here in Phoenix, the average temperature has increased by another 0.6 degrees. Uh, for the new 30-year period, and you'll notice that the average rainfall is down by about 10%, by 81 hundredths of an inch. It was 8.03 inches, now it is 7.22 inches for our average rainfall. And you might have noticed during the week when I show the climate page that the rainfall deficit actually got smaller. It's not because we picked up phantom rain someplace, it's because the new 30-year averages came out. And so you can see on this graphic, every other location here getting substantially drier and warmer. And that is a trend that has been ongoing for the last several decades and will likely continue for the rest of this century and probably beyond that, unfortunately. All right. Speaking of climate data, let's look at uh, what happened yesterday. 100 degrees, the afternoon high, 71 was the morning low, the normal high, 91, the normal low, 67. And we are still, regardless of which climate data set you use, we are well behind on rainfall for the year and well behind for the last several years for that matter. All right, outside now, here at 8.45 a.m., we've got clear sky out there. We're sitting at 81 degrees already at Sky Harbor, dew point at 27, relative humidity 14%. The winds are light and the barometer is steady. Temperatures this morning, we're in the 70s, even some low 80s now across the metro. The upper air look, a fairly high amplitude pattern ongoing across the lower 48 right now. Big trough for the east, a ridge out here in the Rockies and moving into the Plain States and another trough moving on to the Pacific Northwest Coast. And it is that trough pushing the ridge to the east that will help to lower our temperatures several degrees over the next few days. The watch warning map is actually really quiet right now. Some red flag warnings up across parts of Montana and North Dakota and scattered about through the west and high fire danger out here. Otherwise, not a whole lot happening. The convective outlook, we've got a marginal risk of severe storms up across parts of Montana, around El Paso, up toward Amarillo and Dodge City, Kansas, and another little marginal risk in parts of North Carolina and Virginia. And rainfall for the next seven days. Forget it, nothing in the valley, nothing really statewide. Maybe up in the northeastern corner of the state could catch a shower there, but that's going to be about it as it is typical for mid-May here. Warm and dry. That's how it's going to stay. We'll talk about why that is as we take a look at modeling. Here we go. This is the GFS. It's the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Big trough out there in the east. Ridge moving into the Plain States. Another trough over the Pacific Northwest. A southwesterly flow aloft developing here. So down at the surface today, sunny sky, dry air, highs, mid and upper 90s. The hottest desert spots might still just sneak up to the century mark. Tonight, clear, dry, overnight lows in the 60s. Tomorrow, sunny, not quite as hot. Highs low to mid-90s. That's still maybe a degree or three above average. And then on Sunday, we continue with highs generally in the low to middle 90s. 
with sunny sky as weather systems pass well to the north of us and the ridge is flattened. Monday, this is probably the coolest day of the forecast period. Highs upper 80s and low 90s. The sky's sunny with some light breezes. Tuesday, back in the low 90s. Sunny sky. Wednesday, mid 90s. And Thursday, upper 90s to near 101, with the sunny sky and dry air continuing here as ridging once again reestablishes itself across the southwest. Here's a week from today. This is Friday the 14th, ridging off the west coast. Maybe a weak wave moving through the Great Basin or the Rockies, but that still looks warm and dry for us. And looking out 10 days, this is Sunday the 16th, big ridge here in the west, and that still looks hot and dry. All right, rainfall for Phoenix. Running out through the 22nd of May, coming off the European Ensemble. Nothing to see here at all. And temperatures off the national blend of models. We'll keep it in the 90s for the next several days and then sneaking back up above 100 degrees out there toward the latter part of next week. Overnight lows in the 60s and 70s. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is scheduled for Monday morning. And if you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted you'll get the notice your comments questions and suggestions always encouraged as well thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it you guys be safe stay cool and hydrated out there have yourselves a great friday and a wonderful weekend